so in this video i'm going to walk us through uh, the leverage feature on binance futures trading okay and uh, this is to actually help us uh, maximize the feature when we are trading on binance that's on futures trading on binance hello guys welcome to the channel and welcome to this video if you're a new visitor welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to know when we drop our next video and also turn on the bell icon so in this video i'm going to walk us through uh, the leverage feature on binance futures trading okay and uh, this is to actually help us uh, maximize the feature when we are trading on Binance that's on future street on Binance yeah so like we already know when you sign into our Binance account we just need to hover on derivative and mind you that the Binance normally changes its interface uh, once in a while so if when you sign in this might not actually be what you see uh, there is a new dashboard feature or that actually brought in a dashboard landing page that they brought in so i will do another video to walk us through the new interface of binance uh so when you go to derivative you come down to usd features okay and that's the features trading part of that so the leverage feature works on features uh on binance features that's for features trading they also have one a feature similar leverage feature also for the spot trading but that has its own uh, separate interface and all that so i will likely do another video to explain that properly all right so uh, we we'll have to close this allow desktop no we don't so once your interface loads so this is what you're going to see we're waiting for this to load up the internet is a bit slow uh bear with me on that so when you sign into the interface this is what you see so currently uh as of when i did this video this is how the interface looks like so as uh as binance updates its interface i will be doing an update regularly to keep us up to date on what the interface looks like if features trading okay so uh, i've already walked us through the interface and the meaning i will put a link in the description and on the top right corner of this video that's when you're watching the video so you can see the interface that's the link to the video when i talked about the interface of futures trading or trading in binance okay but this is actually how it looks like okay so this is your charts this is your other book that shows the buy and sell uh, currently this way you can actually change to whatever you want okay so this is basically what you get to see on there okay so this is where you see your positions on your open order history and rest so uh when you want to use leverage so first of all uh what is actually leverage so this if you go to i'll drop a link in the description to a binance article that also explains that okay but to briefly explain what it means uh, to Binance, according to Binance, it simply means uh, you bring uh, a certain amount from Binance to make a trade. Now, don't be scared. It's not basically like on the bro aspect, but what it means on the uh, features part of it is that you are like trying to leverage out of a money that you don't have. Let's assume that you have like $100 to trade now and you want to enter a trade. So when you're using like, let's say, x2 to move into the trade indirectly you're actually trading with 200 instead of a hundred dollars again so it's more like multiple of whatever it is all right so that's like simply what it means in like in a layman's thing or like in the real life anyway so uh, if you probably want to push it up to like let's say x10 leveraging that means you are using uh, one thousand dollars against a hundred dollars that you have okay and as you know like moving forward and all that so if you're using like x20 x30 just multiply it by the original amount that's simply what it means okay so i hope that actually explains things better for us okay and 
So when we want to enter the the leverage part or the trading part uh, on the right hand corner on here where you see the cross you see the x1 so if you click on cross you see the cross isolated i will do a video to explain this better you can also read the top to see what it means and then on the leverage part this is where you see the leverage so you can see that it's in x1 meaning that whatever i amount i enter with that's the amount that is being traded for me so i have let's say a hundred dollars and i'm entering the trade with a hundred dollars so what i'm trading with both what i have and what i'm trading with hundred dollars okay but in a case i probably click on it and make adjustments to the leverage okay uh, let's say i push it up to probably let's say okay x10 okay so what this means is that i have a hundred dollars okay but i'm actually trading with a thousand dollars so what it means is that per movement the system calculates it as if you're actually on a thousand dollars and of course mind you that this is on a give and take situation whereby your profits moves as if you are with a hundred dollar thousand dollars but at the same time you actually get the same loss part of it as if you are still like trading with like a thousand dollars okay you can also read this as minimum position currently on this is this so it's just showing you like the leverage for whatever then note please note that leverage changing also apply to open positions okay you can see that so you can actually read on it selecting higher leverage so that this increases your liquidity risk so you can see that just are what i actually explained so selecting a higher leverage such as x10 so x10 and above uh, increases the risk uh, liquidation risk also manage your risk level so of course uh, every single trader will actually tell you this that when you're trying to end a trade uh, even if it's with uh, if it's if even if it's on crypto trading or on forex trading they also trade uh, a trader will also always tell you sorry <laughs> will always tell you to to manage your risks properly okay so on on crypto it's actually to know the kind of leverage that you're entering with at the same time with forex okay so that's why you always do it every single time to oh, always try to add your stop loss and also take profits when you know that you should take the profit and not be greedy so uh, see our help article for more information so i will actually link put the link in the description to this help article so that we can actually read it up and see but that's what it means so you can actually go way up to whatever you want on the leverage but again depending on, on your amount on on the amount that you actually have on like your real amount on the system you are limited to the num exact number of leverage that you can actually go that's way higher okay so for example you can't have like a hundred dollars and expect to like maybe push up your leverage to let's say 50 50 for example okay you can see that it doesn't really make sense that means that you are indirectly trying to trade it like a 5k when you have like a hundred dollars it actually doesn't make sense and the system won't allow you to enter a trade with this simply because when the the easier it is for you to make a profit the easier it is for you to get liquidated just like what it's being said here because yet again the system how it's calculated is that it's more like a 50 to 1 it's a ratio system okay so you can see that a small movement can easily liquidate you because you're using a hundred dollars but in the case i have let's say a thousand dollars for example and you want to actually uh, enter the trade with 50 that's like a thousand dollars against 50k now you would likely possibly to do that because yet again you have a higher uh, what's it called a higher budget or a higher amount to enter the trade so this is easier for you to actually uh, the system is that it can actually make a certain movement before you get liquidated that if it's going on the loss part and of course on the profit part okay so it depends also on the amount that you have on your account before you can actually uh use certain number of but again for certain amounts you can actually go all, as well at five to ten and i believe that at default uh, binance keeps it at i think 10 or 20 i can't remember yeah, but it's like within 10 or 20 that's like on a default level so whenever you want to enter a trade always check your leverage to be sure that it's down to 
the problem like the exact ratio that you want it as best case scenario always go only as high as five okay so i always advise as high as five it's actually okay so that you don't get to risk every single thing and also don't mind you that when you're entering a trade don't enter with the whole amount try to split it so let's say you have a hundred dollars enter with fifty dollars and so like i have like something to fall back to in case of let's say liquidation or whatever because sometimes trades actually go bad okay let's say you are on this part and i'm just trying to use this chart so this is like off the book anyway but let's say you are on this particular candlestick so this is a 15 minutes candlestick so you are on this particular candlestick and this is a hammer okay so you probably assume that because this is a hammer you're actually going up uh okay let's just say that like, yeah if just forget analysis but you actually wanted to take like uh what's it there what's it called okay you wanted to take uh what's it called a cell within this situation so of course you enter this trade at this particular 15 minutes candlestick so forget the analysis now and expecting it to come down you see that it actually came down to this angle it formed a week before it started going up so when it formed the week you thought that probably it will not start selling uh, probably because it actually bought a lot on here and of course because btc has been selling for quite a while now and it starts going up you can see that if you probably set your stop loss at somewhere like here it actually will take you out and then will start selling again so you would have actually made enough profit but then again it actually kicked you off okay so that's why you also need to know uh, the kind of uh, leverage that you're using so that this way you can easily extend the number of like phrase of like because if you are going with let's say extend as a leverage that means you are limited to like putting your stop loss around here so you can actually make you won't actually take a huge loss but if you are going with like x5 x3 that's the, on the leverage part uh, one is to three one is to five then you can actually push up your leverage up to somewhere like here which is still equivalent to the loss that you take with x10 around this position okay i hope that makes sense to you anyway so if it doesn't make sense feel free to drop your comments in the description and we can discuss further about it and how best properly use your leverage system in in trading okay so i think that's all for the leverage system on how to use the leverage in crypto trading thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel like the video and also share it out so that more people that need this particular video will get to see it and thank you for watching once again see you in the next one cheers